this video was brought to you by CuriosityStream. Hey, so if you've come from Corporis, you already know that this topic was not my own idea. I'm totally jumping on his video idea as we both thought it would be super interesting to research. And it was. If you haven't already seen his video, you should go check it out. Links are all down below. So cancer is unarguably one of the worst things that can happen to a person. I mean, a lot of bad things can happen to a person, but cancer is just... It's just horrible. It's very scary. It's the number two cause of death in Americans, second only to heart disease, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But have you ever thought which one is the okayest to get, if you could ever even think like that? So first off, we're going to see which cancer is the least and most severe, and then we're going to have a look at why. Obviously though, every person is different, everyone responds to treatment differently, some of the same types of cancers can be more aggressive in some people than others. There are over a hundred different types of cancer and different types of cancer can vary widely in their prognosis. While a stage of cancer at diagnosis is most relevant to the survival of an individual patient, the type of cancer does suggest an overall general survival rate of the general public. So for now we are only talking about averages. So the average survival rate that is associated with a certain type of cancer. But let's start with the nice guys. So statistically speaking, the cancer that is going to do the least damage is prostate cancer, with a survival rate over five years of 98.6%. And we are going to use survival over five years as a yardstick to how severe a cancer can be. It could be argued that breast cancer in situ is the least damaging as it has a 100% survival rate after five years, but it is not really a true cancer as it isn't invasive. But prostate cancer rates are higher in developed countries than in the rest of the world. And this is generally because people live longer in developed countries and eat more red meat. The availability of screening for prostate cancer by checking for PSA also means that there is a higher detection rate. And as with all cancers, the quicker you find it, the better the prognosis. So because screening for PSA is relatively common in men over 50 in the UK, I mean, you can just go and ask for it to be carried out for free. It can be detected earlier and not spread and therefore not be as dangerous as some other cancers. So it could be argued that the reason why prostate cancers is one of the better cancers to get is because it is generally caught earlier. If it has spread or metastasized by the time that it is diagnosed, then five-year survival rates hit 29%, which is still better than some other cancers. And that leads me on to the bad ones. So diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma is a tumor that is found in the middle of the brainstem. It is a brainstem glioma. And the nasty thing about these tumors is that they grow in the middle of the brainstem and therefore in the middle of the nerves and therefore cannot be surgically removed. And this is because surgery would cause severe damage to neural structures vital for arm and leg movement, eye movement, swallowing, breathing, and even consciousness. So radiotherapy is the main form of treatment for this cancer, but unfortunately is not generally effective or as effective as you would like it to be. Although 75 to 85% of patients show some improvement in their symptoms after radiation therapy, the tumor almost always begins to grow again. It has a five year survival rate of less than 1%. And the median overall survival of children diagnosed with this cancer is only nine months, which sucks. And there are many other cancers that are super interesting to read about too. You should definitely look them up if you like learning about health and disease. And if you love learning about biology and health, luckily for us, this episode is brought to you by CuriosityStream, a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,400 documentaries and nonfiction titles. And they have a series of science shorts where I learned that bad dental hygiene can cause heart failure. If you want to learn how that happens, you can sign up for a free trial of 30 days at curiositystream.com for slash science with katie and use the promo code science with katie unlimited access starts at just 2.99 a month too so go check it out and tell me what you think and a big thank you to my patrons on patreon and thank you for watching bye